Hello, this is Will Herring, and I'm going to show you how to add the Flubaroo script to your Google Sheet to grade your tests for you. Okay, so I've already created and uh, had students take an assessment on Google Forms, name of the interwar test, and this is the response page. Remember that every time you make a form, it makes a response page by the same name. And again, I included the date uh, uh, as far as fall 2013. Okay, so uh, what I want to do first is go to insert script and I just start typing Flubaroo. Flubaroo pops up, install. I'm just going to ask for, uh, and again I've already installed it, but um, it's going to ask for several different types of permission and Flubaroo is fine. So just go ahead and just say that it's allowed to do what it would like to do. Okay, and then you'll see that Flubaroo is now in your toolbar. So we have all of our uh, student responses down here uh, and so we're ready. We're going to uh, grade assignment. For each question now we get to decide how many points we want it to be worth relative to others. Also whether or not an item is a question or if it's just something to identify the student. So username is certainly that and also down here at the bottom first name, last name, identify the student. And this question, it believes that it's actually a question, but since it's what block are you in, this is also going to be an identifier. Okay, continue. The next thing we're going to need to do here is uh, identify which response should be the key. So you'll need to go through and take your own test. Uh, now in this case, I have teacher Will Herring, this is what I did. So I'm going to select that and say that that is the key. It's going to check every other response based off of my responses now. It's going to create a second sheet. You'll see here at the bottom, the new tab. We have this is the original. This is the new one it's creating called Grades. Still in the same, same sheet though. It takes a little while to process depending on how many you have. But you'll see up here we have possible points, average points, how many people submitted it, how many students did uh, poorly on it, etc. The time that they turned it in. Okay. And you'll see, uh, I've taken out usernames and last names, but uh, you'll get to see all the blocks, etc. But now you can see how many total points each student got, the percent that that child got, and again, if you uh, so desired, you could actually uh, use that as your grades. One other tip though I want to show you, uh, you have the option to email the grades out, come to Flubaroo, email grades. Now, that'll only work if you actually collected their email addresses, if you make that one of the questions. Or you can set it to do that automatically if you check the top box on your form uh, that says collect students' usernames. Another thing I want to show you here is these questions that are highlighted in orange, these are questions that a very large percentage of students missed. All right, The way you use that information is, uh, you may want to look at this, you see the bottom here, what percentage of students got it right or wrong, in this case wrong or excuse me, right. So this may be a question I need to double check, look at the answer choices again, talk to my students about, kind of see what's going on. Uh, if I decide that I do not want to include that in the grade, I can do that uh, and just take that out and it'll regrade the assignment for me. Uh, other tips you can see, you know, 96% of the students got this question right. So that's something we're nailing as a group. Don't need to remediate that. Uh, another one that looks to be tough we may need to look at. Another one we need to look at, etc. So. Uh, that's Flubaroo. Uh, again, you can add this to any of your sheets to grade items that are you know, not um, free response. You, anything that's a multiple choice, kind of true, false, anything like that. All right, great. Hope that saves you some time, and I appreciate you listening. Have a great day.